So next up on my Disney Princess series, we have Elsa. I've also filmed a tutorial for Anna and the link for that will be in the description below. To start with, I'm taking a Prisma blend set from Meron and I'm just using a large flat brush to load up the darker blue and the two paler colours next to it. So on the very tip of my brush, I lay down a guideline just to help me see where I'm going. And then leading with the lightest colour on the top, I create a very large teardrop right in the centre of my head. And then from this central shape, I add in two more points coming out in a diagonal. With a long sweeping motion, extend the crown right out almost up into the hairline and then round out the edges with two loops. For the lower section of the crown, also paint in two loops but have these sitting right on top of the cheekbones. And then back on the central point, flip the brush upside down so that the dark blue leads and this time add in three more scallops. With a sponge, pick up a tiny amount of the pale blue colour and gently blend out the central section to make it look a bit softer and also fill in the gap on the outside edge of the eyes. For the snowflakes, it's much easier and quicker to use a stencil rather than painting them freehand. Sponge on the white paint and then before you remove it, gently press on some pale glitter. Now the stencil that I was using is really tiny, so to avoid any paint going through the holes that I didn't want, I just covered them in sticky tape. Running along the top edge of the crown, paint in lots and lots of clusters of teardrops. You want them to be all different lengths and all different heights just to add a bit of interest and detail. The most important thing to remember is that you want all of your teardrops to be headed down in towards the central snowflake. For the teardrops on the lower section, you want them to follow the base colour underneath and head towards the mouth. Around the stencils, add lots of different sized dots to look like snowflakes. And then switch to a dark blue colour and give everything an outline. And you can also add a small amount of dark blue around the edges of the snowflakes just to make them stand out a bit more. And then for a special finishing touch you can add in a few gems. I'm using a water soluble mastics to stick mine on but you can buy the self adhesive ones which are a little bit easier and less messy. <laughs> 